Welcome to the Gaming Weekly, where tonight we're going to be simulating a main event match at SummerSlam. And is Roman Reigns the undisputed Universal Champion against Jey Uso, which is going to be taking place a part of WWE's SummerSlam here at ringside. I'm Adrian Matt, and I'm joined by Pick Scott, who's going to be joining me to call this matchup. Yeah, Adrian, this is going to be a wild matchup as we <laughs> as we see here tonight. And you know what? Bunch of this is where the story all comes down to. If Jey Uso can be his older cousin, Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief. I mean, it's just crazy how this match is going to go on. And Adrian, what is your prediction on this match? Well, perhaps maybe Roman Reigns has finally met his match. As we're looking at Jey Uso, ladies and gentlemen, and here's the story with Jey Uso picks. Jey Uso officially left the bloodline this past month to stand by his brother Jimmy's side. Now, if you remember, of course... It was uh, the bloodline that attacked Jimmy, Jimmy Uso that is, and they attacked him so viciously that they sent Jimmy Uso to the hospital. Now, Jay wants nothing more but retribution and justice after the bloodline's assault to Jimmy Uso, but furthermore, Jay Uso also is fighting for family justice after being manipulated by Roman Reigns in the past year. And you gotta forget, I mean, you can't forget Solo Sokoa. I mean, because he's just been the power powerhouse to, to the bloodline you know him sticking with Roman could have could have some changes in this matchup because this is a this is a tribal battle I mean anything goes Adrian yeah the enforcer Solo Sokoa who's probably going to have a factor in this matchup but nevertheless though Jey Uso's here he's getting set for the fight of his life the most important matchup as we're now Look at this. You can feel the atmosphere here, Pix. It is a completely different atmosphere whenever this man walks in. It is the undisputed Universal Champion, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. And as of today, Roman Reigns has held the WWE Universal title for 1,067 days. 1,067 days. Roman Reigns is now the fourth longest reign in WWE history as he recently surpassed Pedro Morales. I mean, yeah, he also has the longest reign as the Universal Champion being on guys like Seth frickin' Rollins and Brock Lesnar. I mean, this is just a huge accomplishment to have here. Him saying that he can do all this, I mean, you gotta love it. I just have goosebumps talking about Roman. I mean, he's such, he's, su he's the head of the table as we're talking about him. I mean, he's just such a big guy, and you know that he's gonna cause some damage to Jey Uso here tonight. Well, he's a physical specimen, we know that for a fact, but nevertheless, though, Roman Reigns said it this past week, he said that it was going to be the hardest part to really annihilate his own blood, but it needs to be done in the mind of Roman Reigns to assert his dominance, to make sure that he is still seen as the tribal chief, as Jey Uso, on the other hand, is looking to defeat Roman Reigns tonight, picks, so perhaps maybe Jey Uso could be called the tribal chief if, and only if, he defeats and knocks off Roman Reigns. Of course, Adrian. I mean, Jey Uso, if he does win this, he will be the new tribal chief, like Paul Heyman said. Paul Heyman, the guy who's by Roman's side all the time. And, I mean, it's just going to be interesting who's going to win this matchup, and it's just going to be crazy how this thing's going to go, Adrian. Big fight feel there. You see it's for the WWE Universal Championship, ladies and gentlemen, tonight at SummerSlam. Yep. I mean, Adrian. We'll take, it to, uh, we'll take it to Mike Rome right now. A big fight feel here tonight, Picks. Obviously, the two have been introduced. The WWE fans, not necessarily in the corner of Roman Reigns. Everyone is in the corner of Jey Uso, that's for sure. But tonight, it is an Extreme Rules matchup. No disqualifications, no countouts. The pinfalls and submissions must take place inside the ring in order for you to win this matchup. It is the tribal combat where everything goes and everything, of course, can be used as a weapon. So you can imagine here, Picks, it is going to be absolutely a destructive match. Yeah, Adrian, I mean, it's just going to be crazy how things are going to go. Jay, <laughs> Jay and Roman can use anything they please to use in battle. Jay Uso is just knocking down Roman's feet. 
Yeah, right off the blocks already quickly. Jey Uso with the right hand already having Roman Reigns right into the corner. The Universal Champion in trouble here. And Jey Uso is already having his own way. Something that uh, Jey Uso is going to have to try to do throughout the matchup. Because if Roman Reigns does pick up the pace like that with a massive big boot. If Roman Reigns picks up the pace here, Picks, then it's going to be nothing more but bad for Jey Uso. I mean, yeah, Jey Uso, I mean... He's a great superstar, but Roman's just better. I mean, the only way I see Jey Uso winning this, if he just uses his skill, uses his high-flying ability, as we see here, using the Uso splash, Ooh. using whatever he can. I mean, especially, this is a tribal, this is a tribal battle here. Jey Uso, we've seen Jey Uso use things like kendo sticks, along with his brother Jimmy, using kendo sticks and other, you know, weapons to go up against their competitors, and they win. So, I mean, this is... This is the best way J Jay Uso can win this match here tonight. Well, he needs to do it for his family, for Jimmy Uso, and of course, for after the manipulation that has been taking place in the past year. As you can see, the steel chair has been wedged, and Jay Uso wasting little time already. But look at this now, DDT outside of the ring. Roman Reigns went face first right there, and Jay Uso's beginning to battle back, but Roman Reigns with the right hand. You know, picks. This isn't the first time these two met. It was back in October of 2020 when Roman Reigns defeated Jey Uso inside Hell in a Cell I Quit match. Ironically, that night, it was Jey Uso who acknowledged Roman Reigns as the tribal chief. Do you think history's going to strike twice tonight? I mean, you know what, Adrian? Ooh. I oh, nasty chair shot right there. But you know what I think, Adrian? I feel like, you know what, Jey Uso, he will claim himself as tribal chief here tonight. I believe in upsets. I believe in miracles. Nasty sum right there, but I believe in upsets. I believe in miracles, and this is just crazy. I mean, I feel like Jay J, J Uso is gonna take the win here tonight. You know, I mentioned before that these two met back in 2020, but this is a different Jay Uso, a much more focused Jay Uso. He's much more mature. He's actually understanding the concept of the WWE. And look at this from behind a steel chair shot across the skull of Roman Reigns. Tribal Chief now is in trouble. The tribal combat has come here at SummerSlam. Just penetrating the flesh of Roman Reigns as he tried to put him in the table. Just penetrating that flesh with the steel chair. I mean, that's one of the most vicious weapons you can use in the, in a Extreme Rules tri tribal match. And I mean, this is just crazy how things are going. The atmosphere, you could hear everyone crazing over this match. I mean, Adrian, I can't tell you how big of this match this is going to be. Well, you saw the steel chair that was bent. That's the amount of force that Roman Reigns is applying. And look at this, the baseball bat introduced, but it looks like Jey Uso blocked it here. Very smart, having a hold of Roman Reigns. Look at this, dropping him from the top rope right across the neck. The Universal Champion is down. Here's the cover, first cover of the matchup. Shoulders down to the kick out by Roman Reigns. I mean, yeah, Jey Uso is actually managing this match really well. Adrian, I actually have a question for you. Do you think Jey Uso can claim himself back or claim himself for the first time and be the tribal chief? Well, he could, and that's the thing. It could happen here tonight. It culminates, or at least it culminated for the past three years, and it could all end tonight. But look at Roman Reigns. I think he's getting distracted right now, which is going to allow Jey Uso to take advantage off the distraction. But Roman Reigns, though, had that one scouted, and a miss through from Jey Uso. And Roman Reigns back into the attack. Oh, a reversal there from Jey Uso. Kick right there to the midsection. What does he have in mind here, Picks? I mean, Jey Uso is just using everything he got, as we saw just his entrance displayed here. I mean, very oh. smart by Jey Uso, trying to manipulate Roman Reigns, distract him, but that obviously didn't work here. And you know what? When Jey's down, I feel like he's thinking. He's, he's, you know what? He can get tired, but he's always thinking about what he's going to do next. And that's why people consider him the right oh. hand man to Roman. But I mean... I feel like Jay, he has the chance of being the tribal chief here tonight. He just needs to take down Roman Reigns. Remember, he was the only one to pin Roman Reigns in over three years. That's just crazy. You know, you saw the cracks within the uh, bloodline. Uh, ever since Jimmy and Jey Uso were really understanding that the bloodline, or at least Roman Reigns in that matter, was really there to manipulate and to just control the entire bloodline. Jimmy Uso was the first to realize it, and then Jey Uso stood by his brother. And Roman Reigns launching Jey Uso face first off the steel steps, and that could be a sickening thud right there. I heard a sickening thud that echoed through the arena as Roman Reigns is applying more weapons, and I didn't expect a ladder, but so be it. Oh my God, there's a oh, nasty kick right there. There's a ladder and there's a chair. I mean, we've seen tons of superstars use both of these, you know, both of these objects as their leverage as Roman Reigns just closed down on Jey Uso. Just, you know, getting in his head literally as he just smashes Jey Uso's skull with his hands. Well, listen, 
You know what? Roman Reigns is pulling out all the stops here tonight. You rarely see Roman Reigns flying all over the ring. He is all dominant and physically dominant, that is. But tonight, though, he was high flying at the top of the ladder. And look at this. The table has been flamed. And Roman Reigns is in trouble. Can Jey Uso put Roman Reigns through the table? No. Snake eyes across the top of the turnbuckle. Oh, no. <laughs> Jey Uso sees the flame of, of a fire right there. He just needs to get Roman Reigns into that table. That will really just slow Roman Reigns down because it's fire we're talking about. This is crazy. But you know what? Yeah, that... Roman Reigns is the more, more strength. So we could just see more, you know, powerhouse from Roman Reigns. He's just strength as he says, <laughs> Jey Uso. Here's the cover. Shoulders down. Jey Uso's in trouble oh. to retain the title and a kick out. Jey Uso still had the wear thought a kick out right there to there. The fire still blazing. That can indeed completely uh, rip human flesh. And Roman Reigns now picking up the table, trying to uh, place it in the middle of the ring here. And I think Roman Reigns has bad intentions in the mind of this oh. man. I think Roman Reigns wants to put Jey Uso through the table. And the thing is, we know Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns wants to punish Jey Uso. Roman Reigns wants to make sure that Jey Uso is never ever going to forget the time that he disrespected Roman Reigns. Of course, I mean, you can't forget that. I mean, Jay Uso, I mean, he's a he's a family man. He has kids, he has a wife, and you know what? He also cares about his brother Jimmy. He also cares about Solo. If he wins this match here tonight, he will be the new tribal chief and everyone will be on his side. And also ending the historic reign of Roman Reigns Universal Championship. As you can see, Jay Uso back inside of the ring and a headbutt there by Roman Reigns. You know, like I said, I mean, Roman Reigns believes that everything is about him. That he is at the top. That he is the tribal chief. And it's really hard to argue that, though. Because he has had an absolutely tremendous career. I mean, again, Roman Reigns has the fourth longest WWE Championship reign in the history of the WWE. And the longest reign for the Universal title. And there's a kick to the midsection. Jey Uso right now. Look at this. Right through the table. Right through the flaming table. Here's oh. the cover and a kick out. <laughs> Roman Reigns. Kicks out at one. That was crazy. After everything Roman Reigns has been through, he kicks out at one. This is just showing the pure strength and agility and how Roman Reigns does not get tired at all. This is crazy of the endurance Roman Reigns has. And it's perhaps that anger that is also helping Roman Reigns to kick out. Roman Reigns truly is completely furious. He's livid that both Jimmy and Jey Uso decided to turn their backs on Roman Reigns. But guess what? Jimmy and Jey Uso had every right to do it. Because, of course, Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa have been basically manipulating these two. And what does Roman Reigns have in mind right now? Oh, my God, look at this. Oh, my right to the table. The table implodes. Jey Uso may very well be out. Jay Uso on the commentary table. He's just out now. He's just. This is crazy. Roman is manipulating Jay Uso. We don't see this that often. I mean, this is just crazy Ooh. as he gives Jay Uso a back shot right there. A club like blow right into the back of the neck. It looks like Jay Uso has been stunned. You know, Roman Reigns. His universal title, his championship really means a lot to him. Alongside with the special counsel, Paul Heyman, he's been involved and he's been with Roman Reigns throughout the entirety of this roller coaster ride. But it is the Bloodline Civil War, as we talked about it before. And tonight it is the tribal combat. And obviously, here, Jey Uso is trying to make sure he's the one that dethrones Roman Reigns. I mean, yeah, I know I was saying Jey Uso was doing it here tonight, but the Roman Reigns kicking out one with all Jey Uso was doing. I mean, this is just crazy as he just keep giving Roman Reigns chair shots. I mean, I retract my statement. Jey Uso still might be in it here tonight, guys. He may very well be as Jey Uso now launches Roman Reigns back inside of the ring after that chair shot across the skull that again echoed through the arena here. Roman Reigns doesn't know where he's at. Look at this. Planted Roman Reigns in the middle of the ring. Here's the cover. Hooks the leg to win the title and to become the tribal chief. No, oh, kick out. He kicks out at one again, Roman. Just Roman hurt. Adrian, Roman Reigns uses his, his endurance to his advantage. And he's doing great on doing that right now. Oh, my God. Jey Uso kicks the face of Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is crawling, doesn't know where he's at. Jey Uso is in control of this matchup, picking up the momentum, something that many people have been expecting or at least wanting to see. A yeah, lot of people have been in the side of Jey Uso. 
Everyone wanted this Hell in the Cell rematch, and here we go. I mean, it's not Hell in the Cell, but you know what I'm talking about. This is just, this is crazy. The atmosphere, the crowd, everyone's cheered up for this match here tonight. Doesn't know who's going to win, because both of these competitors are just trying all they got. This led up to years and years of conflict, teamwork, and just everything they've been through in this matchup right here, Adrian. And Roman Reigns feels that it's the... Basically, that it's Jay and Jimmy Uso who are disdaining the, the bloodline. That it's their fault. One of the reasons why the entire bloodline finally collapsed. And why the bloodline really entered into a civil war. And Roman Reigns has that in his mind. Which is another reason why he wants to completely punish Jay Uso. Which we talked about it before here, Picks. It was just a couple of weeks ago on SmackDown. When Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa basically destroyed Jimmy Uso. He was sent to the hospital. And Jay Uso had to see that right before his very eyes. It must have been traumatizing. But also at the same time, Jay Uso wants that redemption for his family. I mean, yeah, Jay Uso had to see that see Solo Sokoa do it to him. <laughs> Y'all don't know, Solo Sokoa is, you know, Jay's cousin and Jamie's cousin. That's just crazy how they do that to family, man. I mean, it's family. But you know what? This this is, like you said, this is just crazy how everything's going down. And Roman Look Reigns. Look at this. Right through the table. Roman Reigns looking to put this one away here. The Universal <laughs> Champions feeling it. Jay Uso up to his feet. And look at this, wait a minute, a run in here, and a big boot right there. That almost decapitated Jey Uso. Roman Reigns right into the corner. What does he have in mind now? And Jey Uso wisely rolled out of the ring, and I think picks Roman Reigns was getting set for a spear, but Jey Uso wisely rolled out of the ring. Like I said, Jey Uso in his mind just avoids the spear. Very smart by Jey Uso, I mean, just crazy. It's crazy how, you know, Jey Uso's mind is still intact after all these headshots he's getting. I mean, this is just crazy, Adrian. Uh, very much so. A very intense matchup. You can feel the electricity in the air, but there is so many, there is so much emotion really here. Because as mentioned before, yeah, the bloodline has been one of the one of the most important stories that has been happening here in WWE for many, many years. And tonight, like I said, it culminates to this. Jey Uso and Roman Reigns as Jey Uso launches Roman Reigns up and over the top rope. And look at Jey Uso now. He's Thinking about it, I think Jey Uso's going to fly oh. here, Picks. Jey Uso, look at this. Right through the second rope, there's the suicide dive. Suicide dive right there by Jey Uso. I mean, using that to his advantage. Jey Uso just uses everything to his advantage here. When it comes to his moves, when it comes to using the weapons, as he's just hitting Roman Reigns with the bat. I mean, this is just crazy. And back to the big boot. And Jey Uso was using himself as a weapon too. As we saw moments ago with the suicide dive. As Roman Reigns now delivering a chop and another kick. And Roman Reigns is not going to stop until this matchup once again has it where Roman Reigns continues his championship reign. Has a hold of the ladder and this is not going to be good. Not with the ladder, Roman. Come on. He's going to do the same thing he did just a little bit ago. As the crowd is going crazy. This is just nuts. Oh wow. my god. Jey Uso is out of it. There is no way Jey Uso can fight back in this matchup. Roman Reigns has been putting on a clinic here tonight. Roman Reigns is absolutely dismantling. Wait a minute. Jey Uso with a reversal, though. That could have been out of desperation. That could have been out of desperation here. And Jey Uso still having some flurry left in a right hand across the skull of Roman Reigns. Jey Uso has the fight left in him. He might actually pull this off, Adrian. This is nuts. You can't count out on Jey Uso. He is indeed main event Uso. And there you see a club-like blow again right into the back of the neck. Roman Reigns back up to his feet. And Jey Uso still applying the pressure right now and attacking Roman Reigns. And look at this. Wait a minute, picks. Look at this. Jey Uso has a submission maneuver oh. outside of the ring. But remember, Jey Uso, and he's making Roman Reigns tap out. Roman you can see Reigns that, but guess tough. what? But, but the thing is, though, the <laughs> submission has it. to happen inside the ring. Jey Uso made Roman Reigns tap out, but the submission and pinfall have to take place inside the ring. And Roman Reigns cutting all that, that momentum that Jey Uso garnered. My goodness, what a tremendous battle here tonight. I mean, even if Jey Uso doesn't win this, he needs to win it here. He made Roman tap out. That is crazy. But as you say, Adrian, he's not counting. He needs to happen inside the ring. Hopefully, Jey Uso can get back up and win this matchup. Pull it away for his brother, Jimmy. And Jey Uso is still clinging on to anything that he has left, all the energy oh. that he has left. And look at this, these two meeting center of the ring again. And a right hand by Jey Uso. Uso being able to feel it here, has a hold of Roman Reigns. And look at this, plants Roman Reigns off the suplex. And I think Jey Uso here is now starting to feel it here. The, the, be 
the beginning of the confidence that has taken over Jey Uso here, Picks. Could it be the comeback from Jey Uso? Can he win this matchup? This is insane, Adrian. Can he do it here tonight? Oh my oh. god, Jey Uso using everything he can to his advantage here. And he's continuing to do it. Look at this Another once again. Shipwreck. Planting Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is down. And I think Jey Uso has Roman Reigns in position. Jey Uso wants. Oh my God. Jey Uso's going to put this one away perhaps. Jey Uso from the Uso top. Splash. Look at this. Uso splash. Uso splash. We got a new champion perhaps. Jey Uso's got to go for the cover. Roman Reigns is down. Here's the cover. Shoulders down. It's got to be 3-0. No. Roman oh. Reigns kicks out. So close, Jimmy was so close to pulling that off. Just give him more cheer shots to Roman as he's you know, down here. I mean, Jay really needs to think what's his his game plan now because Roman I just cannot kicked believe, out of there. I cannot believe that Roman Reigns kicked out of the Jay Uso splash. Oh. The Uso splash that was dominated there. But look at Roman Reigns back into the attack again with the steel oh. chair. But Jay Uso still saying, hey. I still have a lot of fight left in me. And there's the drop kick. And I'll pick it up Roman Reigns. And look at this once again. Oh, but Roman Reigns now battling back. And that's the pure strength that we were talking about. Roman Reigns goes back to that. Every single time Reigns is in trouble picks, Roman Reigns goes back to the strikes and the, the powerful shots that he can deliver. Yeah, with the, he's using a lot of the big boots here tonight, Adrian. I mean, that's just wearing down Jey Uso mentally because it's in his head. I mean, this is just crazy. When we see Roman using here in the chair shots, we can hear him throughout the arena. I mean, we don't hear that that often, Adrian. I mean, this is crazy. The atmosphere of this matchup is just Ooh. insane. Now planting Roman Reigns, and I think Jey Uso was looking to fly yet again. But Roman Reigns back into the attack, and there's the right hand. But now Jey Uso here... Has some oh. flurry. Missed with a big boot. There's a kick right there. A super kick to the midsection. Jey Uso's got to do it again. Jey Uso, Another. once again. Another. Uso splash, but Roman Reigns moved out of the way. Nobody home this time. And Roman Reigns back with a big boot. Reigns had that one scouted, and I think that could have been the last gasp, the last ditch flurry of Jey Uso no, 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 Roman, as Roman Reigns this. now. Look at this. Gonna put this one away. A spear. That's it. It's over for Jey Uso. It's, oh, oh, wait a minute. No, no, I don't think Roman again. Reigns is done just yet. Roman Reigns going to deliver for the second time. Oh, a massive spear. Two. Oh, oh, it's my over God, for Jey Uso. And Roman Reigns still wanting more. Roman Reigns is still wanting to punish Jey Uso. He could have won this match of picks, but Roman Reigns continuing to prolong this match. That way he can punish and send a message to everyone else that Roman Reigns is indeed the tribal chief as he's going to deliver the third the spear. The Universal Champion says this one's over. And now here's the cover. Hooks the leg. Jey Uso may be out of it to retain oh. the title and be the Tribal Chief. Roman Reigns has done it. He has retained. Oh my gosh. Roman Reigns using the three spear combo. We haven't seen him done that. And I don't even know how long he did. Roman Reigns retains. And he is still your universal champion here tonight. I mean, this is crazy, Adrian. I mean, Jey Uso had all that fight left in him and just lost this matchup here tonight to Roman Reigns. And he's still well, your tribal chief. Well, there's one thing we know for sure. Roman Reigns' championship reign continues, and he is still the tribal chief.